Hey everybody, it's Engineering and Heels back here with a little review. I've reviewed these before, but it's been a long time and since we have better equipment now, I thought it might be nice to just kind of go over them again. So I'm going to go over the shoes that I have on right now, which are Mercy Allen 130. These are Louboutin, part of their 130 collection. I really wish they'd release more of these. These are probably five years old by now, um, but they went through this wonderful period where they released a few 130 millimeter shoes, most of which I collected, but not all. So this was one of the ones that I did get. These are kind of unique to me, I think, with this round toe. You don't see the round toe a lot anymore because pointy seems to be so in, but I really like a round toe as well. I think the round toe is also a classic in its own right, and the, one of the other reasons that I like it is it really is much more comfortable for your foot. So when you put your toes into a heel, it's definitely more natural to have a rounded shape than a pointy shape. So your toes will thank you, your feet will thank you. And that does kind of make these into more of a comfortable 130. They're still not super comfortable. It's still much more comfortable to wear a Socate than these, but they're really not that bad. And I mean, I, I really do mean that I've taken these on vacations all over the world um, with me. They seem to be one of my most frequent heels that I take on vacation just because I can walk around the city in them without, you know, dying. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, I can walk in hot chicks as well, but these definitely give me a little bit of a longer, like, walking lifespan. So I really like that. Other than the pointy toe, I love the heel. It's the, what they would call the fetish heel on these. So it kind of starts big, gets smaller, and then gets a little bit bigger. And it's just this beautiful kind of sensual curve about it that I really like. And these are um, on the fetish peeps that are out now or that were recent. So if you really like the heel style, you may be able to find it on those. They did also, um, a couple years after the Mercy Allen 130 came out, release the Mercy Allen 100, which I have in the hot pink. That's also a great shoe. Like as far as a pump goes, like a pump that you can wear all day, it's one of my absolute favorites. These obviously for most people are gonna be more of a special occasion thing or a date night thing, um, but I like to wear all of my heels out and I do, so these definitely fit the bill. The other thing I really like about these is the patent leather seems especially thick, which is kind of a good thing and a bad thing. Um, it makes them feel very quality on your foot, and it makes them mold to your feet better, I think. But the con is they're harder to stretch out, and once they do stretch out, they, you know, it just takes a long time. These are obviously fairly stretched and molded to my feet um, by now. You can actually see that I've got quite a bit of play in the heel, so. They've stretched out probably half the size, something like that, which is good as far as comfort goes, but as far as walking goes, they can kind of slip off the back of my heel. So it may be close to time for me to put something in there, some sort of um, no slip heel grip and that kind of thing. Definitely love these. I've already worn them enough, as you can see, to get them resold. So very cool. The other thing I really like about them is I think they go, like as far as black pumps go, they go with everything. So I mean, you know, I can wear them with latex, like you can see me in, which is from um, Bright and Shiny Latex. I can wear them with jeans, I can wear them with dress pants, skirts, pantyhose, whatever I end up wearing them in looks good. So that's definitely, as far as if you want a shoe that goes with everything, you can never go wrong with a black pump, I think, especially around to a black pump. So I really, really like them. I wish I had a little bit more area to show you me walking in them, but you've seen me walk in them too. so. That's good. So hopefully you can see them pretty well in this hotel carpet. The other thing I like as well is the toe cleavage looks pretty good, so you can see my toe rings if you're staring down at them. And that's always a nice little surprise, I think, to see the toe rings in there. So yeah, I hope you like them. I hope you like this review. This is the Mercy Allen 130. I just broke the zipper on this dress earlier, so if you're wondering why it's not zipped up, that's why. We have to figure that out. I don't think it's all the way broken, but I'm a little bit sad about it. So yeah, the Mercy Allen. And then right before I go, I just want to say thank you to everybody over on Patreon. You guys are amazing. You allow us to buy things like mics that hopefully aren't making too much noise this time, and cameras, and new shoes, and you guys are awesome with your ideas and encouragement and support, so I love you all. If you have not considered subscribing to my Patreon, please think about it. We have a lot of fun over there. And if you don't subscribe to me on Instagram already, it's at Engineering and Heels. And subscribe here on YouTube so that you can get more of this content. Thanks.